If you are a nerd fighter, a fan of the Vlogbrothers YouTube channel, then you have probably long been anticipating this book. 100 Books You Must Read, number 66, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This book is narrated by Hazel Grace Lancaster, whose life has been dominated by cancer. But I wouldn't say that the book is about cancer. I'd say it's more about the struggle for meaning and purpose in our lives. Hazel meets Augustus Waters, someone who makes that name cool, someone who likes to do things for their metaphorical resonance, someone after my own heart. These characters and the book stayed in my mind a long time after I finished reading it. One thing I particularly liked about the book is that it has a book within a book. The Fault in Our Stars opens with a quote from this mythical book, An Imperial Affliction, and there are quotes from it placed throughout the book. I was 99% sure after reading The Fault in Our Stars that it was just a made-up story, but I googled it just to make sure. I wish it had existed. I would have loved to read this book about the Dutch tulip man and a hamster named Sisyphus. Another thing I liked about the book were the references you could find to Vlogbrothers videos, such as the mention of goat soap, the blank something is blank sentence structure, and the use of the word awesome. The most important thing I liked about the book is its quotability. Words set beside other words that just fit and make mellifluous music for the mind. Some of my favorite quotes. The existence of broccoli does not in any way affect the taste of chocolate. It's embarrassing that we all just walk through life blindly accepting that scrambled eggs are fundamentally associated with mornings. Water. A desert blessing. An ocean curse. The only unsatisfactory part of my reading experience was that there was no J scribble in my book. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day, by Emily Dickinson. There is no frigate like a book to take us lands away, nor any coursers like a page of prancing poetry. This traverse may the poorest take without oppressive toll. How frugal is the chariot that bears the human soul.